In case you didn't know, ColecoVision was a console in the 1980s, best known for games like Burger Time, Mr. Do, and the console port of Donkey Kong before its demise in the video game crash of 1983. And just like everything for the 1980s, a very niche group of nostalgic adults were excited to hear the release of a brand new ColecoVision console, The Chameleon. Promising to be a fully cartridge-based console that played original and soon-to-be-announced new titles, the ColecoVision Chameleon charmed its way to the front page of clickbait-obsessed video game sites, but the good news seemed to end there. Amid the already skeptical crowdfunding community, the then-named Retro VGS Indiegogo campaign failed to gain any momentum after they refused to show a prototype of the console, raising only 80,000 of the 1.95 million funding goal. This failure was blamed on the high price point, which was blamed on lead engineer John Carlson, forcing the lead developer, Mike Kennedy, to fire him. Well, it turns out that, according to my new guys, they, they think that the only reason that, that, that John did it the way he did it was to hide traces in the ports. And the bigger the board, the more layers it is, the more expensive it is. And if you heard in the interviews, he was a little paranoid about somebody copying this thing, which wasn't a directive from me. So what's the point? Yeah, yeah. If nobody's going to buy it, nobody's going to copy something. They, you know. So it just got out of hand. After such a dramatic failure, Mike Kennedy decided to rebrand the project. He licensed the name Coleco for its retro brand recognition. So it just made sense to you know, bring the Coleco name back. And uh, so it's a licensing deal. We're just paying them a little bit of everyone, you know. Mm -hmm. And but what it does is gives a sense of brand recognition. But this license deal seemed to deter even more in the gaming community. Many saying it was deceptive, as the actual Coleco company had no involvement in the project. To make matters worse, when a prototype was finally revealed last week at the New York Toy Fair, some spectators noticed that the console was simply a duct-taped Atari Jaguar shell, and that the console's controller was a Super Nintendo controller. With further inspection, they found that the power and AV ports matched and were exactly that of the Super Nintendo. Nintendo Mini. Now you would think, with such misleading attempts to bring retro console to an already oversaturated market, that the creators would simply concede and refund the backers, apologizing for their deceitful act. Which brings us to yesterday, where Mike Kennedy responded to the Super Nintendo conspiracy by posting photos of a completely legit ColecoVision Chameleon prototype, but this time in a clear shell to prove its authenticity. The problem was, within a few hours, tech geeks identified the internal hardware as a CCTV DVR capture card. Pretty fucked up. So what can be made of all of this? Well, unfortunately, if you donated your money to Coleco Chameleon, you just lost your cash. Even if he did have good intentions, Mike Kennedy had now lost the trust of his main potential market. So if he actually did create a product, there would be nobody there to buy it. Besides, you know that money's already gone. Uh, so our goal now is just to try to save face. I mean, we totally effed up, I mean, without a freaking doubt. But, uh, you know, in the beginning, it wasn't like that. You know, you could see it if you went way back, and then it kind of got, you know, started off good, good yeah. intentions, and then it got really, really crazy. And then now, hopefully, it'll... Yeah. People kind of forget about it. Yeah. People kind of forget about it.